My friends, it is November 23rd, 2009. This is the most important video concerning man-made climate change that we've ever made. This is one of the most important video press releases that I have ever released. Last week, hackers broke into a university computer system in England, the chief UN climate center, the main source of information they quote in their different reports. And they released thousands of emails. We've now had a chance to read over these emails. It's in the Associated Press. It's in Reuters. It's the BBC is covering it. It is a huge international story now known as Climate Gate. And we've had a chance to go over these documents and it only confirmed what we previously knew. Al Gore, two years ago, got caught claiming that carbon dioxide goes up and then temperatures go up. He actually flipped the graphs. Temperature goes up and then carbon dioxide goes up. Different universities and some of the ones named in these emails have been caught faking uh, temperature readings from buoys and weather stations around the world. They always claim it's an accident. Uh, this chief United Nations scientist, Phil Jones, of the last five years has refused to release any of his data, though it's being used for the UN to call for this global <clears throat> climate tax and to ban big televisions and to put tax on beef and taxes on having more than one child, a total control of our society, and they won't release the source data. And that's one of the main reasons uh, that the hackers obviously went into this system and got these emails because they wanted the climate data. They wanted to force it to be publicly published, not just a boil down synopsis. Because so much of what is in these reports put out by this university and others has already been proven to be a fraud. And when scientists come out and say, well, your, your information is a fraud, and we have the actual weather readings from the sources you quoted, they say, shut up, you're a conspiracy theorist, you're paid by the oil companies, we're not going to let you look at our data. Now we know what happened, and this is so huge. And I'm going to go over the spin they're putting out to try to cover this up, because if this story in full gets out to the public, the global climate tax is over. And we're going to play some clips coming up of the new EU president and others admitting that the global climate tax is the key to global government, global governance. These are quotes from them. The global government is here. It was Enron came up with the idea of the carbon tax in the mid-90s with Al Gore. It's a scam. And it has nothing to do with the environment. And they're on the verge of passing this in Copenhagen next month and here in the United States with the climate bill now in the Senate that's passed the House. So this couldn't have come out at a more important time. So here are a few key points that I've listed here that I want to go over. This is Climate Gate, number one. Number two, the emails are real. Number three, all the key UN data comes from these fraudulent sources. They would not show the public their data. This is scientific fraud and persecution of scientists that disagreed with them. That's also in the emails, how to persecute, how to blacklist, how to fire people, how to shut people down. I mean, this is criminal racketeering. We need a real investigation of this. Why the fraud? What are the goals of this system? And to use a Star Wars analogy, these several thousand emails are the Death Star plans. But having the Death Star plans is only part of it. We now have to carry out an attack in the info war with this information. And we're going to have full reports, in fact they're already up, at prisonplanet.com and infowars.com detailing all of this. This is a worldwide tax, a fraud against you and your family. You need to educate yourselves immediately and then educate your friends, your family, your neighbors, your elected representatives, your public servants, because this fight is all coming to a head right now. I also want to salute the hackers. They did something the police, MI5, the FBI wouldn't do. There have been Freedom of Information Act requests in the U.S. and similar requests in England that have never released this data. They're scared to release it. It's now public. So I salute the hackers. I don't know who you are, but you're white hat hackers of the greatest epic level. I absolutely bow to you with total respect. Thank you so much. Because this is also an example for future hackers to really do important work. This is beautiful. This is epic. And I salute you. All right, briefly. This is climate gate. This can bring down their whole system. Because all the other fraud they've been caught in, they always say is an accident. They also have the fraud of saying there's a total consensus. Not one scientist doesn't believe that carbon dioxide is deadly poison and that we're all going to die if we don't tax it or ban it or restrict it when humans exhale five and a half pounds of it. So they're also saying there's total consensus, even though 30 plus thousand scientists sent letters to Congress, 